Hey guys, I think I'm gonna make it a one take today. Um, feeling super good. So like I said, uh, yesterday I sort of, for the third day in a row, ate more calories than I normally eat. And to be honest, like physically didn't feel good, mentally didn't feel good. It's all trial and error. Um, I definitely didn't binge eat or anything along those lines. I still haven't binged since the 8th of April, 8th of April and I don't think I ever will, or 7th of April. I don't think I ever will again. Um, I've changed my relationship with food fundamentally, but it's still a trial and error process. So as I said yesterday, what I'm doing as of today is for the next 14 days, including today, I'm gonna to be eating 1500 calories. Doing a bit of a mini cut, if you will, if I were a bodybuilder that is. Um, so it's putting me probably in about a 600 calorie deficit, which I think my maintenance, I eat 2000 calories generally between 2000 and 2100. I think my maintenance is probably about maybe 2150 or 2200. So I'm always slightly below maintenance, but then obviously I have a cheat meal every week and that probably puts me at about maintenance for the week. Um, I find that works really well for me and I find it stops any urges to binge and stuff like that because I get to eat what I want on a daily basis without having to put a, like a limiter on it. So anyway, <clears throat> I feel like I'm finally at a comfortable enough point where I know what works for my body and what maintenance is for me. So I, in an attempt to sort of slim down a little bit and um, drop some body weight, particularly body fat, I've decided to go into a maybe 600 calorie deficit every day for 14 days. And then I'm going to, on the 15th day, just st st jump straight back into eating 2,000 calories a day. So eating my maintenance. The reason I'm doing this is because I want a bit of a kickstart. I feel like my weight has sort of stagnated over the past couple of months. It was a little higher when I weighed myself today, but that's only because I ate more than normal for three days. Um, it's, it's stagnated. I've stuck around maybe 71, 72 kilos for the past couple of weeks, maybe a month and a half. Um, and I want to just my natural weight when I'm not like when I am athletic um actually I've never been this way when I'm athletic but my natural weight <clears throat> that's optimal for me athletic like wise I'm not sounding like I know what I'm talking about right now um is about 65 kilos <clears throat> so my goal is the next six months or preferably if I can swing it look at her eating snacks she's so cute if I can swing it by the end of 2020, I want to be around that. And then from there, I just want to maintain and just continue to up increase my workload and activity and all that sort of stuff. Um, I truly believe I can accomplish it. I think what I'm, I'm going to do a bit of trial and error with this two weeks of restricting a little bit and then go back to maintenance for like a month and then maybe do another week or two weeks and then maintenance for a month um, and see if that is an effective way for me to lose more. I don't know. But also, my activity levels, once my activity levels increase even more and my ankle is completely healed and I'm running again and cycling a lot, I think that I'll be able to eat 2,000 calories a day and lose small amounts of weight as well. So I won't have to as aggressively cycle calories. It's all trial and error at this point. Um, I don't know if it will work. I feel like it probably will. I feel like I'm going into it with a sensible attitude. I'm only doing it for a short period of time. Um, and I'm going straight back to what I know works afterwards. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about it actually. I was saying Emily is also um, on board with me in terms of making sure we do all our lifting sessions this week and getting 10,000 steps each a day. She actually woke up before work this to, this morning and went on a 3k run. I'm jealous. I can't go on a 3k run because my ankle's ruined. But at some point this week, I will go on a run where I run 500 meters walk for a while and then run for another 500 meters. I went on a 500 meter run last week and it almost ruined me. I wasn't wearing the correct shoes though. So this week when I do go on my run, I will wear correct shoes. Um, but yeah, I'm planning on actually doing five workouts this week. I want to, um, so in the four workouts that I do that are from the Will Tennyson um, program, I hit everybody part twice. My fifth workout is going to be sort of like a mystery workout, what, whatever body part I feel like wasn't as sore that week or whatever body part I want to get bigger or more toned, more muscular. I'll work on that on the fifth day. Um, may occasionally use the fifth workout as like a CrossFit style workout with a bit more high intensity sort of interval training, um, some 
metabolic conditioning to sort of work. I obviously understand how to do all that sort of stuff now that I was a CrossFit member for like six months or a year, I mean. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> so a lot of the topics of conversation I talk about for the next little while are going to be about uh, how my mini cut's going and uh, how my mindset is with it all. But I can tell you right now, when I'm living my life this way and I'm um, more goal orientated and all that sort of stuff, I'm just way happier. Like, I took my reds and greens. I spent like $300 like a couple of months ago on buying reds and greens and protein shakes and all that sort of stuff. And then I just completely stopped taking it all in lieu of trying to fit as many calories as I could in of like snack foods and stuff like that. I think I'm going to swing back a little bit more and when I go back to eating 2,000 calories, I'll continue to have my reds and greens and my vitamins and protein shake and all that sort of stuff. Um, I think when I was eating 2,000 calories, I was very often not even hitting 150 grams of protein a day because a lot of my calories went towards snacks, which is silly. Whereas now, I'm programming in about 1,500 calories and I'm hitting pretty much close to 150 grams of protein pretty easily, which is awesome. I'm going to stop rambling. All I know is this is when I'm my most happy. I'm heading to work soon, already on 10,000 steps. I've already done a workout. I've already done meditation. I've already done my ankle rehab. I've already had two litres of water and I'm going to drink a further two litres while I'm at work. And I just feel super good. And I just want to perpetuate this. And I know it's the similar feeling <clears throat> that I get when I'm doing 75 hard and I'm locked in. But those 75 days changed my life. Every day that I live and move forward and get better, every day is just today's the day. Today's always the day. Every day you gotta live it as if it's your last. You gotta live it as if it's the best day you've ever lived in your life. And if you string enough of those days together, you're bound to uh, get where you're going and enjoy the process at the same time as well. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm gonna go now. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.